this video we are going to discuss about muscarinic receptor types and where they are present and how they work so muscarinic receptor are divided into five types m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 clear now m1 m2 m3 are the important subclasses of the muscarinic receptor m4 and m5 are not so much important and m4 and m5 mainly present in cns now coming to m1 so m1 is present in acid secreting cells of stomach also in on nerves in less quantity but clear but main receptor on acid secreting cells of stomach is m3 m2 mainly present on cardiac muscle okay it also present on nerves but it less quantity m3 is the most common receptor m3 is the most common receptor it present on all smooth muscle and gonads very important all smooth muscle and gonads and it functions through gq m23 gi g inhibitory it also through gq clear now now we we'll look for some important point about the muscarinic receptor again so here location and functions m1 m2 m3 so m1 is present in autonomic ganglia gastric gland which i have discussed okay and also cns its main function in if they are present in autonomic autonomic ganglia is depolarization gastric gland it lead to histamine release it lead to acid secretion enteric neurons it will lead to intestinal secretion and cns it is involved in learning memory and motor activity so depolarization histamine release acid secretion learning memory and motor activity is associated with m1 coming to the m2 function so it is mainly present on cardiac muscle we have discussed sa node leading to hyperpolarization leading to decrease rate of impulse generation because of the sa node av node if m2 receptors on av node will be stimulated then it will decrease velocity of conduction clear ventricle on ventricle very less amount of m2 is present clear so it will decrease contractility but very slightly now m2 also present on cholinergic nerve endings where it will decrease style choline because it is acting through g inhibitory it is acting through g inhibitory so it will decrease style choline release clear and in cns it can lead to tremor analgesia visceral smooth muscle also, also present on visceral smooth muscle which lead to contraction clear now coming to the m3 so m3 is the most common receptor it is mainly present on smooth muscle which i have discussed so visceral and bronchial smooth muscle leading to contraction iris contract contraction of the pupil ciliary muscle con traction okay exocrine secretion vascular endothelium release of no leading to the vasodilation so these are the functions of m3 receptors clear now nature so m1 is working through gq m2 through g inhibitory m3 again through gq transducer mechanism same as we have no, we are knowing about gq ip3 dag will lead to increase of cytosolic calcium here ip3 dag will lead to increasing cytosolic calcium or here k plus channel opening okay due to decrease in cm oxo tremorin for m2 is methacholine and from m3 is bethanicol now coming to the antagonist so for m1 is pyrenzepine and telenzepine for m2 is methotramine tripitramine and for m3 is solifenacin and darifenacin now some important points that is stylcholine activates an atropine block all the three subtypes of muscarinic receptors the cns contains all types of muscarinic receptor but m1 is appear to predominate most smooth muscle and glands have both m2 and m3 but m3 will dominate clear